Neil Young has written countless great tunes. This one uh, I first heard when it came out. In actually, he, he played it a little bit live before uh, before Harvest Moon came out in 1992. But uh, this is War of Man from Harvest Moon, as I just mentioned, and a really fun song to play. Very typical of his type of playing. Some unusual chords. Slightly unusual tuning, it's double drop D. So I've got my sixth string down to D and the first string down to D. And what that does for uh, chord shapes, it makes some of them really easy. So a lot of his songs use the same shapes. You saw me do a lot of stuff right there. Not a lot of stuff, but a little stuff with just one finger. And that's because in this drop D tuning, double drop D, we first of all, we, we use the D in the bass a lot. Matter of fact, he never really plays anything on the sixth string. Ah, sometimes we hear this. Has a little kind of jam at the end, just playing a couple of bass notes at the fifth fret and third fret, which would of course be a G and an F because of the tuning. The string is tuned down to D. Now, that makes certain chords come out differently than you would normally play them. We would we'd usually play a regular D chord now with just two fingers leaving the first string open, which gives us really a D5, a power chord, a chord that doesn't have a third. So that's, that's some of the sound we hear, and that's the basis for the little hammer-on part. So while that part is going on, you're just holding that, that, your two fingers on that D chord and then moving them around to pick out the melody. Um, he also uses this chord a lot at the 5th fret, moving it up, which changes the A and the D that we're playing there to a C and an F. Gives us a little different sound of the chord. It's a completely different chord. It's D minor 7 now. Although, yeah, that's all we need to say. It's D minor 7. So, those are some of the things that are, that are happening in this song, and we're going to break down everything, including this little... So we have two little cool instrumental parts and two other just strumming parts during the, the verse and the chorus. So, coming up, a breakdown of Neil Young's War of Man. I want to talk about the right hand first. I recommend playing this with a pick. Now, Neil Young doesn't. He, he frequently plays songs, well, he could, he could but, but he f usually plays songs like this um, with, with fingers, using his, sometimes putting his thumb and his index finger together, doing what I would call the invisible pick. Because he's strumming just like he's got a pick in his hand, with his index nail hitting the downs and his thumb sometimes hitting the ups. Now a lot of times he'll also brush across the strings with just his index finger. Then he'll sometimes use his thumb to play bass notes. The chords in, uh, that we're going to use are really easy for the most part, and there's, there are slight variations on normal chords you would know. Um, in the standard tuning, one of our common bar chord, one of our two main bar chord families, is the A family. And if we'd play a bar out of the A, we would bar maybe the third fret and play the second, third, and fourth strings at one, uh, two frets higher. This would give me the equivalent of a C chord. Well, my A chord down here, if I want to play it, I've still got an A in the bass. But the first string is D now. That's not going to work. So, we restore it to E by, by moving it up two frets. So here's how you play an A chord in the double drop D tuning, where the first string is tuned down to D. Now, that opens up the door for a lot of easy chords at just different frets. If I wanted to play B flat, I could just move it to the second fret, especially in the case here where we don't really care too much about the bass notes. On the studio version of this, um, there's a bass player hitting the bass notes. On, when Neil, Neil Young does this live, he lets D drone in the bass on most of the chords, and that's part what give, partly what gives the song this um, uh, ethereal character, I guess. Um, so, we'll see a lot of chords, or a couple of chords that we're going to play mostly hitting the three middle strings, or the second, third, and fourth strings, not really worrying about the first string 
when we're trying to play these, the, the second, third, and fourth. 